Hello students, welcome to Shorapsa's classes. This is Himadri Datta. So in today's lecture, we will be talking about international economics. So in this particular video, we will be talking about the box diagram technique for Stolper Samuelson theorem. So we will be talking about the box diagram technique for Stolper Samuelson theorem. So we know the basic crux of Stolper Samuelson theorem. It basically says in this two factor model, A change in relative price of one commodity leads to a such a marked change in distribution of income that owners of one factor gain while owners of other factors are made worse off. So we need to explain it in terms of a diagram now. So we'll use a box diagram. So in this video we'll do box the box diagram technique. So we will use a box diagram technique for Stolper Samuelson. So we'll use a box diagram technique for Stolper Samuelson theorem. So for this, what we have to do, we know first I'll draw a box. So first what I'll do is I'll simply draw a box. So as you can see I have drawn a box. Now what I will have to do is I will simply draw two curves cutting each other at this point or I can also draw it in a different way so that it will be easier for you to understand. So we are drawing the box diagram. So it looks like this. So at this point. So we will take increasing land used in production. So here on this vertical plane we will take what? land used in food production will take land used will take land used in food production and here will take labor used in cloth production on the vertical horizontal plane will take labor used in cloth production So we take labor used in cloth production and then on this horizontal plane we take labor used in food production. And on here we take land used in cloth production. Now what we do here is that we write origin OC here we say we write LC that is a labor used in cloth production and here at this point we take LF here we take what so here we denote it by C and 
be denoted by f and this we write as 1 so what we can see here and here we take tc and here we take tf so now what we can see here is that we now use the boss diagram like one presented in this figure so it basically says allocation of an economy's resources so it basically says allocation of So it basically says allocation of economic resources. Now we now use a box diagram like this on the two horizontal axis as you can see here and here we measure we measure the economic total supply of labor. So on the two horizontal axis we measure the total supply of labor as you can see here OC is the origin of OC is what? OC is the origin of cloth industry. Thus from point 1 we see that OCLC from point 1 we see that OCLC which is this is what? Is the labor used in the cloth production and OCTC and OC and OCTC which is this until this level it is used the land used in cloth production so this is land used in cloth production and this is labor used in cloth production and we also know that what that is similarly OF OF which is here OF is the origin of food industry and so OFLF which is here OFLF is the labor used and OFTF is the land used in the food production. So now we know how do we now locate the resource allocation point 1. For this we know that given price of cloth and price given the price of cloth and price which is this PC by PF this is the relative price of cloth we can determine the ratio of land to labor in cloth production TC by TLC we know from the basic stalpert samuelson theorem from here we can measure TC by LC that is what the ratio of land to labor in cloth production So now it is we know that from there we can determine this value. Now we saw a straight line OC such as OCC. Now we saw a straight line which is OC, OC to C. Its slopes equals to the land labor ratio. Its slope equals to the land labor ratio. The land and labor ratio. So point 1 has to lie on this line. So the point 1 has to lie on this one. And there is point. And in the same way land labor ratio in food. So this is the land labor ratio in cloth. And this is the land labor ratio in food. Determine the slope. Another point which starts from OF. Point 1 has to lie over this line also. So there is another which says land labor ratio of food production thus the economics resource allocation is identified by point 1 at which the two lines representing the land labor ratio cross so where the land labor ratio cross where the land labor ratio cross we get what we get the allocation of economics resources we get the allocation of economics resources so what did we do here in this diagram 
we have shown that when two lines that is the land labor ratio lines they both cross each other we get the one which is the equilibrium level of allocation of economics resources so i hope you guys have understood it if you still have any query or doubt you can simply whatsapp me on this number which is 9836793076 or you can also go to our website which is www.showropsersclasses.com there you will find a lot of other videos like this and you will also get to see a lot of other materials which are needed for different entrance exams so thank you for watching this video and have a nice day ahead